sketching on a winter's morning can be a bit of a tall order, especially somewhere like Galway City, where it rains rather a lot. Um, and this this last Sunday was no exception. I was out with Paddy, my son, and we were looking for somewhere nice to sketch. So we went to McCambridge's in the middle of Galway City, and it's a lovely place to sketch. For starters, the welcome is always really warm and hospitable, but also it's got these lovely lamps over the bar counter and it's got like really nice area to sketch behind the bar. See all these all these bottles and the nice tables and so on. So it's a good place to get comfortable and just really take your time over a sketch and a nice cup of coffee. So I started off by sketching in the chairs and the tables and the three chimney pots in a very, very dilute watercolour paintbrush. And I made sure to leave lots of white unpainted areas because that way I could make sure to let the light from the light well appear to be shining on them when the time came to, to paint them in. So I got on with the sketch and I painted in the background and darkened up the middle of all these chimney pots as well so that they would look more kind of, I suppose, silhouetted. Um, yeah, and then I got on with the background, got on with those tiles in the back, the bottles, and then these people came in. So I was really glad when the people came in. So the woman on the far right, she was not the most sort of full person to draw. But then this woman came in beside her. And that kind of helped a little bit. So I wanted to get a kind of a scene with people in it. And when the woman sat down, oh, and then that couple came in as well. And it was great to just draw them. So the woman came in, swiveled her chair around. And I'd already started to paint, but by doing that strong pink line, the chair was kind of able to fade into the background, which worked really, really well. It wasn't really, it wasn't really difficult. Now, I didn't have the same experience with the chair that the guy was sitting on. You can see it was already drawn. And then he pulled the chair out to sit down. So I was stuck with the two chairs, but like, I don't think it really mattered because it's just part of the, the kind of dynamic nature of urban sketching, really. I was really happy to put the woman in and I just kind of sat her on the chair. She didn't pull the chair back very much. Um, but the two of them in this strong pink colour, I thought it really worked well. I, di I did her with her face resting on her hand and her companion was just eating away and he was sort of too busy drinking and eating. He didn't even notice what I was doing, really. So that was kind of good as well. So you can see the bottles are drawn in pink as well, kind of matched the um, the people. So the outlines are both pink and that picked up uh, nicely with each other. And then the green of the plants, they that kind of went well with the, uh, you can see the green of the plants there. And that went well with the green of the bottles as well. So that was kind of, I suppose it wasn't exactly coincidence, but it was fortuitous. And the wood grain, the wood grain came out well. Um, and then the lights on the bottles and the glassy background. And you can see the bits and pieces that the, the, the couple were eating as well. And then to darken the lamp, the make the lights glow, I kind of darkened up around them. You can see that there, really darkened. Took ages actually to darken the undersides of the shelves enough. But um, you can see the dark sort of strips down the middle of the terracotta lamps. That really helped to um, silhouette the whole thing under the light. Kind of make them stood out quite a lot. I kind of fiddle with it quite a lot. You can see the, the, the contrast of the, the dark around the rims of the lamps to really make that light glow out. So I darkened up around the rims. And then I even took a pencil and I darkened up further around the opening of all the lamps. So just a 4B pencil. It's a very handy and quick way to make things glow did the same thing with the people as well. You can see I darkened up some of the areas around the people as well. But yeah, the people looked really good. I like the way they look kind of semi-transparent. Well, they are almost transparent fully, but it's a quick way to put them onto a sketch. It's very dynamic because like they're only there for a second before they're gone again. So that's about all I can say for that. Um, and I hope that was useful for you because that way of adding people just in a line works really, really well. So give it a go.